Hi guys, welcome back. It's me, Joy's Love, the number one imprint, and I'm here to do a June reading for my Sagittarius. Yes, my fire signs, my gods and goddesses. Welcome back, and how you guys doing? I would appreciate it if you guys like, subscribe, comment, and share. Hit the bell on the side for all the updated videos when I post them. If you're like a personal reading or donate to the channel, the information will be in the description box below. Check it out. Um, the cards are pre-shuffled already, so let's get into the reading. God, so a spirit, I ask that you come into me and let me say your words and not my own so I can give my Sagittarius the best reading possible, as accurate as possible. Thank you, spirit. Amen. Okay. So now, let's see what's on and popping with my Sagittarius for June. Okay. So right now, Sag, you're feeling confident. You're feeling confident to where you want to. You know, express yourself to where you want to, you know, um, take up for yourself. Because you feel like that this, um, you feel like that you could be dealing with a, a water sign, a Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. You feel like this person is doing something behind your back and you don't trust this person. You feel like that your person um, is a bit guarded and this is why you guys fell out and why the situation isn't working. You feel like this person um, abandoned you and don't give you the attention that you need, but you really care about this person a lot and you feel like that you guys are soulmates. You feel like that you um, want to give your love to this person so that this person can um, get a bit more um, sensual and um, sensitive towards you because you feel like your person is isolating themselves from you. You feel like your person has forgotten about you and abandoned you. And you like, um, if I could just give this person a, express myself and give this person a little more of what I got inside of me, maybe they'll come around. So it's like you, um, is charging in on this person and you want to let this person know like this, this person is so sexy to you and that this person is a temptation. It's like this is a toxic energy to where it's just not good for you, but you just want it anyway. You feel like that this per that this person is self-centered and care about their own selves, and you just tired of really stressing out about this situation and your person. You just really want to be happy, and you don't know, have someone that you can confide in, and someone that has your back through the um, hard times, and you just really wanting to celebrate and be happy. You want to be content. You want someone that can understand you. You want someone that you can grow old with. And it's like you you, you do have high hopes for this person, but you don't trust them in the same breath. The outcome and advice for this situation is you're going to get some mental clarity, Sagittarius. Something is going to click for you. Uh, so please stop, you know, worrying about this situation so much and, you know, kind of stalking your person. And you need to just heal. Be in a, you know, get control over your thoughts and everything because you have good things coming your way, but you got to walk away from something that has you so bent and stressed out. You know, because you have something beautiful right around the corner with the Two of Cups and the, um, the Star card. It's like somebody is going to come in and offer you some stability, but it's going to take them some hard work, but you got to close out a cycle that no longer serves you, okay? Um, the outcome and advice for this situation is that you need to heal, you need to drink more um, water and less wine, 
and you need to address the situation, stand up like, you know, the, the, the boss woman and the boss man that you is, and you need to express your love because you're sad without this person and you're, you know, drinking a little bit, you know, you're, you're indulging in alcohol a little bit harder than you would because you're not addressing the situation for what it is because you really love this person and you feel uh, sad and alone without them. And it's like you want a new beginning and you want something that's more emotional emotional and it's coming your way but you just have to you know express yourself and you know um step up okay Sagittarius I'm gonna give you an oracle card thank you spirit for this message you got two oracle cards you have the nine of waters and the king of fire so with the king of fire you're showing up um sagittarius motivational idolistic ambitious charismatic focus 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 communicate with vision and be a leader advice from someone creative so excuse me it's it's just time for you to stand up and be the leader that you are um focus on what it is that you want so you can manifest it to your reality okay and you have the nine of waters your wish comes true concerns fade away a love of life so it's it's, it's you just letting go of fear and stepping out there and trusting that you can do this that you do have the confidence that it takes to do what it is to to get what it is that you want it's time for you to you know visualize a little bit more carefully on what it is that you want so you can manifest it okay because god's or spirit is saying i got something for you i got a lot for you do you want it or are you gonna sabotage this um like you usually do sagittarius because you guys are so stubborn okay you have the ten of gabrielle Look at that, tens, nines. You close to closing out an old cycle, the way you think, the way you do things with a person. You know, maybe you're leaving a job. It's You are ready. Ask your angels for helpful people to enlighten your load, to lighten your load. Working too many hours, trying to trying too hard to please others it's time for you all working no play is not good for no one so it's time for you to get up off of that um hamster wheel and it's time for you to relax it's time for you to meditate it's time for you to get your thoughts under control so that you can make the right choices for you and yourself moving forward towards your happiness you have the eight of raphael there is something better waiting for you do you know, do what you know is right for you, a spiritual quest. It's time for you to go within. That's why the meditation is good for you so that you can, so that you can, um, you know, go within and listen to your inner wish, intuition so that you can make the right choices moving forward because you have too many blessings and beautiful things and soulmates and twin flames waiting on you, but you like sabotaging your own happiness because of your stubbornness. It's time to put that away, put the ego away, and it's time for you to be playful. It's time for you to stop taking things so serious. It's time for you to walk away from work for a minute. It is time for you to do some playing. Be playful. To recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. It's time for you to get out there. Put yourself out there. Walk away from work for a minute and allow yourself to have fun. Allow yourself to go within. Give yourself some time to, you know, just... You know, meditate and listen to your inner voice so that you can make the right choice moving towards your happiness, okay? So that you can get up off of that, you know, sabotage stage and then you move towards your happiness and your contentment. All right, Sagittarius, good luck with everything, and I hope you guys push forward towards, your, towards what it is that you really want and start manifesting it um, with your vision of what it is that you want because God so spirit has some beautiful things for you and it's up to you to you know take that 
uh, foot forward and accept it. Put yourself in a receiving mode and stop trying to please everybody. Please yourself for a change. And, you know, be authentic within you. Not worrying about, you know, uh, what someone has to say, how someone's looking, what people are going to think. It's time for you to get back into your sense of humor and playfulness so that you can, you know, radiate some goodness and freshness in your life to make you smile for a minute. Okay? Smile for me, daddy. What you looking at? <laughs> okay, so... um. Good luck with everything, Sagittarius. I love you guys. Please put a comment down below if this energy resonates with any of you. And until next time, be safe. Wash your hands, wear your mask, and peace.